morning guys happy Wednesday I think it's Wednesday yeah um today I am filming a what I eat in a day it is about 8 a.m um I typically eat breakfast somewhere between 8 30 and 9 30 so I'll be sharing that with you guys shortly um for those of you that are new here I am Cortland I am on Weight Watchers and I am on the purple plan I get 26 points a day um yeah so if you saw my previous videos you know that I was on blue plan but I had switched recently to purple and I do want to say that it is going much better um, being on purple it's been a week maybe a week and a half since I switched and it's going really well um, I'm just hanging out in bed with this little munchkin can you say hi can you say good morning YouTube can you <laughs> who is that baby um, but yeah, so purple is going really well. I'm actually seeing some progress in the scale. Um, I've lost a pound this week already. My weigh-in's on tomorrow morning, actually, for the whole week. So we'll see where I'm at. Um, but just like in the past couple days, I lost a pound. So that is great news. Um, but yeah, so uh, when I head into the kitchen to make breakfast, I will come back. Guys, I gotta work fast with cooking breakfast. I can hear the baby crying upstairs. I am just going to make two runny eggs in the um, on the stove, um, two of those, and that's zero points. And then I am going to have two slices of bread for toast. Oh, my eggs are running away. Okay, um, two slices of this Sara Lee honey wheat. Um, it's two points a slice. Two po uh, two slices is four points. It doesn't do that weird Weight Watchers math where it adds a point for having more. Um, so four points for the bread, zero for the eggs, and I'm just going to use a little bit of squirt butter, which is zero points as well. So it'll be four points. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put some fruit on the side just because I need to balance this out a little bit with something fresh. Right here is my finished breakfast. I just cut up some strawberries. I have my toast, my eggs. Again, this is just four points here. Um, and then I'm also going to have a little clementine. So I cannot wait to enjoy this. It's going to be so good. Hey guys, I am interrupting my what I eat in a day to do a little tag question and answer that I was tagged in by Trials of a Long Haired Girl. I'll pop up her channel here for you guys and I will leave her linked below. I'm just going to answer some quick questions um, that she tagged me in. So the first one, um, these are either or questions. So the first one is sweater or hoodie and mine would have to be um, a sweater. I do love hoodies and sweaters probably close to equal but if I could only choose one I would choose sweaters I just love a big cozy sweater cardigans all of that um the next one is take time to style your hair or wear a cap um I do not like how I look in hats excuse me I'm working um I don't like how I look in hats at all so definitely style my hair um Question three is give roses or daisies. Um, I would rather give daisies. I love like wildflowers and things like that. Roses are just so formal, you know? Um, and then question four, flower or vegetable garden? Um, I would have to say a vegetable garden would be so much cooler. I wouldn't be able to keep either one alive because I'm terrible with plants, but a vegetable garden like and having your own vegetables and herbs and going outside and getting to pick them and cook with them would be super awesome. I'm just not like, I do not have a green thumb at all. Um, I even killed my succulent that I just got a couple weeks ago, so that's so sad. Um, okay. So question five, a large crowd or a small party? I rather have a large crowd and that's because typically I'm not that outgoing unless I really know you well. So like small party, I am I tend to be quieter than if it was like a large crowd. Um, I am more comfortable, like kind of lost in the crowd. Whereas in a smaller party, I might stand out more. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'd rather be surrounded by a whole bunch of people, um, a whole bunch of good people watching than a small party. Um, let's see. Uh, question six is encounter a ghost or demons. Um, I don't really like, know how I feel about ghosts. I don't really believe in ghosts, but if I had to like answer this question, I would say ghost rather than demon. Like demons are so scary um, and like devilish and I'm just like not really into that kind of thing. So that question is kind of hard for me, but I guessed, I guess I would say ghost. 
um the next question is healthier comfort food and i know this is a weight loss channel but obviously comfort food healthy food is good and refreshing and things like that but like there's nothing better than like some creamy macaroni and cheese fried chicken just like warm hearty meals nothing better um let's see question eight is candle light or lamp light um I would say candlelight. I love just like burning a candle in the early mornings. Um, I'm not a night owl, so like I'm not gonna just hang out with candles lit at night because I like go to bed at eight. So um, definitely candlelight. Um, and plus, it smells super good and it's warm. I like it. Um, question nine: Nails, long or short? Well, right now my nails look terrible because I have not gone to a nail salon since covid started back in march um so yeah wow that's been a long time um i would say short nails just because i can't like do things with long nails i like the look of long nails but i like can't type well with them or text um i can't like fasten bracelets or necklaces by myself and i'm so afraid of like scratching the baby um so short nails but i do like fake nails like either dip powder or acrylic. I don't like just naturally painted nails on me. Um, question 10, this is the final one. Um, automated answering service or speak to a live person? And I think I'm gonna be like totally different than everyone else on this answer, but I would, or this question, I would much rather speak to an automated answering service. I know, shocking, right? But I hate talking on the phone like I hate it like I get so much phone anxiety so if I don't have to talk to a live person and I can get the answers that I need automated service all the way like I'm just I know I'm different in that because like everyone calls in and they're like oh my god I just want to speak to a live person I'm not that person I don't like talking on the phone if I can handle it through email a text message automated answering service I totally will even if it takes longer, like I don't like talking on the phone. Um, so that's the last question. Thank you so much to Tracy for tagging me in this. Again, she will be linked below. And why don't you leave me a comment of your answers to some of these questions below, or if you are the same as me with the talking on the phone, I'd love to know that I'm not alone with that one. Um, but yeah. All right, guys, I am heading downstairs to make some lunch. Um, I know I'm having some like roasted potatoes in the air fryer that's gonna be so good um, but I don't know what I'm gonna have with it so I need to figure that out still okay so for my roasted potatoes in the air fryer I just take a potato this is about medium sized russet potato and I just chop it up then I put it in the air fryer and I spray it with a little bit of my olive oil spray here and then I season it with seasoned salt and Italian um, seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and chop these bad boys up. I am so excited to be on Purple Plan and to not have to use all my points to have potatoes or whole grain pasta. It just felt wrong on Blue Plan counting it, you know? Ooh. All right. So we got them chopped and I'm going to put them in. Okay, so I actually popped in one of those State Fair corn dogs that I showed in a grocery haul before. I'll show you when it's all finished cooking into the air fryer as well. Those are seven points and well worth it to me. Um, we do need to either go to the grocery store or maybe I'm just like feeling lazy and not wanting to cook anything today. Um, but I couldn't find anything to go with my potato wedges. So I'm gonna have the corn dog and the potato wedges. Normally I wouldn't eat two like carby things together like that, but oh well, so it'll be a seven point lunch. All right, here is lunch. My one medium russet potato over there that was cooked in the air fryer. I have a little bit of sugar-free G Hughes Sweet Heat barbecue sauce for zero points. My seven point corn dog and some spicy mustard. So this is seven points for lunch. Hey guys, 
leave. I'm just over here prepping some dinner. I just chopped up some Brussels sprouts, um, drizzled some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and um, sprinkled all those seasonings on there. I'm gonna roast these in the oven at 375 for 20, 20, 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna have that, and then we are going to make these boneless, skinless chicken tenders in the air fryer so they're frozen i'm going to take a couple out and put in a ziploc bag um, with some seasonings and then i'm going to pop them in from frozen in the air fryer i've done this before it works out don't worry um it just takes a little longer to cook but we're going to have the chicken tenders on the side and then i have some leftover baked beans in here that are five points of serving so i'm going to have that um the chicken is one point and the brussels sprouts i mean chicken zero brussels sprouts are zero Baked beans are five, so dinner should be five points. Guys, here is my five point dinner. Again, everything is zero points other than the beans that are five points. I am so excited. And this chicken turned out amazing in the air fryer. So yum. just finished up with my workout and I'm going to have one of these Alani new fit snack protein bars this one is the confetti cake I love these um, I've tried almost every flavor other than the munchie and so far the only one that I wasn't too thrilled about was like the fruit loop one um, but they are so so good um, you definitely need to try these they're five points a bar which is totally doable um, so this is how I'm gonna end my day that is everything for today i hope you enjoyed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos from me bye guys